slower. Hey ya. Chest completely crushed. Ribs must have pierced the lungs. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, maybe flesh not. charred to the bone in places. They're all the easy to find witches already, and I could use a quickie. Having trouble? Nothing fucking but. One ploughing trouble after the other. Well, what's it to you? Who are you? A means to solve your troubles. Radovid sent me. No, oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you. Don't exactly sound delighted. Would you expect us to? We've done half the work. Now you show up and take all the glory. Word was you hadn't been able to get inside. Tell yesterday when we found this. Doesn't look like much, but it's got power of some sort. Opens the entrance. Good work. Saved me some time. We're thrilled. Think Philip is still inside? That we don't know. Only certain thing is she was there at some point. Certain? How's that? We've been after her since Loch Muin. Poking out her eyes weren't enough. Radovid should have gutted her there and then. As it is, she turned into an owl and fled. Flew across Kedwin and Redania. Then tucked herself away here. What can I expect to find inside? Everything, anything. It's an old elven temple, the witch Isleheart turned into her hideout. Look at him. Fell into some magic trap, then monsters attacked him. Barely got out alive. Any of your men still down there? A dozen or so went in. They's all that came out. Rest are probably dead. Philip is still in there. Don't count on anyone going in to retrieve your corpse. What do you reckon? I think you'll find something. That could throat. <laughs> not on your life. He is a witcher. Witcher or not, you'll be dead before you can say two prayers. Beware. For you know neither the day nor the hour.
be some mechanism that opens this door. Missing one tile. Step closer. Sheathe that before you hurt yourself. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you that witcher the king was supposed to send? Guessed it. You should know by now how dangerous this place is. I'll wait up above with the others. Not a chance. Those cowards ran at the first whiff of monsters. I made a stiffer stuff. Besides, something big set to happen here. I just know it. I learn what it is. Radovid will appreciate it. King will promote me. Maybe even give me a medal. What's the big event that's supposed to happen? Uh, don't know the details, but I came across Philippa Eilhart's notes. Mentioned Ida Emian, Margarita Lowe and Teal, Francesca Finderbear, and Frangela Vigo. As I see it, they aim to meet here. Think Philip is still here? Can't really know. Sure, we searched a few caverns, but hidden nooks abound. If someone wanted to hide in here, they could easily. Even if they weren't an owl. Alright, let's get you out of here. Told you already, no chance. Besides, the teleport's power cell. I broke it off. We have to wait till they come for us. Got no choice. Nobody's gonna come for us. Give me the crystal. I'll get us out of here. But the monsters? I'll defend you. What if you can't? Be a good little hunter and give me the crystal. I am a good little hunter. There you go. Ooh. I'll just wait here. They'll come for me. Feather. Right, now to 
activated. Feather. Doubt Philippa had an aviary. These are signs of polymorphy. Another inactive portal, missing its power cell. Maybe the Neckers took a liking to it. Hmm. A tunnel. Wonder where it leads.
nuggets. Kind Philip always wore around her neck. Except, why are these covered in blood? She either fought someone or used them in her experiments. Blood-stained surgical instruments. Philippa operated on someone here. Notes. Charred. Almost completely. Can't read a thing. Hmm. What's this? Aniseed and birch bark. Powerful disinfectant. Soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. Crystal from a megascope. Heavily chipped. Dress will know what to do with this. After him. Oh, you. Besides, he'll come back this way. You've got to. Ah, there he is now. You're alive. Find anything? Cremated notes, a necker nest, rats. Nothing interesting. Why don't I believe you? Telling you the truth. Awfully prone to suspicion, you hunters. Not without reason. Grab him! Alive!
in for long. What's all this? Not your concern, that's what. Not an expert or anything, but you two look like you could use some help. Aye, it's true, we could. Bones full up for some manner of beast. Bar them inside, but that won't hold long. And we'll be in a world of woe once they're loose. We're not rich, but cut the filth down, and we will pay you. Fine. I'll try to help you. We'll let you in the barn, then open the doors once it's over. Quick, Master Witcher, or they'll get out! a cemetery? Uh, no. Why'd you ask? Found human remains inside. Several sets. They're what drew the necrophages. Uh, they was... they was bandits. When it was just coin they took, we lived and let live, so to speak. But when they dragged Hedy to the barn, we wouldn't take no more. Grabbed our pitchforks and... Well, you've seen how it ended. Next time you kill someone, bury the bodies. Deep. Need to take care of these, too, or they'll attract more corpse eaters. We'll do it. Thank you, Master Witcher. Job's done. True enough. Here's your pay, and thanks for your help. Farewell. That's it, Roach. The second sword? Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Greetings. What is it, hmm? Don't mind him. Sit with us. You're most welcome to. Though be warned, we're in the middle of some serious studying, as our learned companion calls it. Thanks. Be happy to join you. What do they call you? I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. 
they call me Rufus and this here learned fellow is Theophile Maria Roscoe and, and this is uh, sorry Manfred I'm Manfred uh, exactly uh, Geralt heard that name before you frequent the fairs no you've confused him with Gerard the stage artist who indeed attends fairs and breaks wind to the tune of popular melodies. To the delight of the crowds, I'd add, our guest is none other than the White Wolf himself. Well, my apologies. Aren't you the one that... You know, the, the room was about Foltest's death. No, wasn't me. Hmm. Any news of the war, for instance? They say the Black Ones will mount a new offensive soon, to cross the Pontar. I bet diamonds to peanuts Radovid won't manage to repel this time. Such a shame Henselt perished in Lormark. Blasted Dragon Slayer! Right you are. With Henselt alive, Nilfgaard wouldn't have had it so easy in the East. The Emperor's sure to take Novigrad soon. He'll seize the Temple Vault, the City Armada, the West will be all but his as well. You know a lot for an ordinary merchant. I do. What of it, hmm? Just that it makes me like you even less. First you ask about the message I'm carrying. Now you say you're waiting for Nilfgaard to cross the Pontar. You better come with me. I know some people who'd want to talk to you. You'll have to kill me first. If needs must. Relax. A misunderstanding. That's all this is. Hold him, Witcher. I'll find a rope. Not a chance! All right, I'll grab him. Most you'll grab is your own cock! Keep him up. Let's search his body. Might have been carrying documents, a message. You're on your own. Thanks for your help. One Nilf Guardian spy less? Take this. It ought to prove useful. Ah, had it right. First full of Nilf Guardian florins. Another one. Run along home with the rest. Sir, show some mercy. We've not got nowhere to go. For us, it's Novigrad or death. I did offer you lots. Sod off, or I'll have you skewered. They seem desperate. Let them through. Can't see any harm in it. <laughs> Fucking hell. How many times have I got to repeat this? I've orders to turn back anyone who don't show a pass. Let these people pass. Yes, sir. Thank you. You've got nowhere to go back to. Novigrad. That's a chance of a new life. Stay off the roads. Liable to run into another patrol. Shan't be taken like that again. We will be as careful as hares in a field bared by winter. But you, you was cast in a different mold than us. More like the hero that lies in the tomb near Crookback Hills. Tomb's in a cave in a hillside. Down Warren's at the foot of the hill. Folks say treasure inside's a sight to behold. Huge hoard. Might find something that suits you. Good luck. Faster.
Not so fast, Crouch. I'm losing the ends. How am I to live, eh? Get a look at the thieves. What thieves? It's monsters taking the chickens. An ordinary thief I'd nab on my own, but beasts? What am I to do? I can help you. Not for free. But you're advanced in years, so I won't ask too much. Poppycock. Not much, he says. But you'll take me liver come the end. Well, no one else is lining up to help me. Me end started disappearing about a week past. Always take one at a time, the vermin. One at a time? Interesting. Monsters leave any tracks? Aye. Prince of wolf paws, but strange-like. As if the wolves walked on their hind legs. And don't you be like that wise-ass Yossip from Down Warren tells me I'm mistaken. But few know beast tracks like I do. Me man with the best poacher for miles around. I see. I'd still like to examine the prince myself. Oh! Watch where you step! Wolf prince, all right. No, something's not right. and small footprints next to them, but no signs of struggle. Little footprints, interesting. gonna hurt you. Then why are you here? That captain with the black moustache send you? Don't know any captain. Followed the tracks of the hen-stealing monsters here. <laughs> You're a lot of fuss over a few skinny hens. The old lady didn't like them much anyway. She were always yelling at them. And she looks like a witch. Why are you in the woods? Where are your parents? Soldiers caught him. We was crossing the river, but they spotted us. We ran, but Mum and Dad had bags, told us to flee. Lived in the woods alone ever since? Sure. Find a lot of things, steal a few others. We get by just fine. Where'd the wolf prints come from? Dad once hunted down a wolf, gave each of us a paw for good luck. We tied him to our shoes. Because wolves steal hens, right? Sure. Usually not one at a time, though. You survive by stealing from others. This can't end well. You should ask someone for help. Who'd help us? Who'd take us? Once we've got all the hens, we'll go deep in the woods. Petey says we's gonna hunt. We're animal hides. So a tent out of leaves. I'd never grow up. <sighs> hmm. Last bits most likely. Good luck, I guess. And watch out for yourselves. Hey, 
Hey, Witcher! What is it? Found a group of kids in the woods. They were the ones stealing your hens. Oh, children, eh? Riding on the backs of wolves, were they? Never any wolves here. The kids are just clever. If they've anything in their noggins, they'll stay away from me and us now. Take them in. Give them a home. Won't steal from you then. Sure, but I'll be feeding the whelps. I'll gain nothing from it. But... Suppose I'll give it some thought. Ah! Let's go! into this. Which is helpful. Defend them. Maybe this one will help us. So, but we can it, they say. It'll pay off, they say. You go your way. I'll go my Kiss my ass. Oh, what's the problem? Oh, nothing. On your way now, good man. Shut it, got out. He could help. Little Red's band means to attack the village. Want revenge on Bertram. We haven't much, but we're willing to pay if you defend us. Who's Little Red? Word is she fornicates with wolves and can tear a man apart with her bare mitts. A she-beast in human husk. Though some call her a great beauty. She leads a pack of deserters. True dregs from different armies. The kind what knows killing and plundering well. Why does this band want revenge on you of all people? Because... Because I ratted on them to the witch hunters. Witch hunters care about bandits? Since when? Little Red's band. They was terrorizing our village. We had none to defend us. Finally Bertram went by the hunters, asked them. So the hunters went after him. We had a spell of peace, but now Little Red's learnt of it all. Wants to kill Bertram. He's done for if you don't help. Fine. I'll handle the bandits. Go to your homes. Bar the doors. Beware of them, Witcher. They're the dangerous type, truly. Your way. I'll go mine. Wouldn't be so pale if you ate onions and oil. Bailiff's a harsh man. Best not cause any trouble at the inn. Got to find me some work.
that's toward him he draws you His tongue sharp and silvery as he implores you Your wishes he grants as he swears to adore you Gold, silver, jewels, he lays riches before you Jews need be repaid and he will come for you All to reclaim, nor smile to console you He'll snare you in bonds, eyes glow in a fire To gore and torment you till the stars expire A wolf ate my grain Just hire you. They did, to defend them from monsters, and humans who can be monsters. And you believe me to be such? Are you? Find out for yourself if you dare, or give me Bertram. No one else will get hurt. What did Bertram do to you to warrant vengeance? Mean they didn't mention this bit? Then listen. He came to me a half year back. Said he'd point out who's worth looting in return for a share of the takings. But sometime on, the bugger grew greedy. He wanted more. I refused. That's when he set the witch hunters on us. Lost half me men because of him. Now step aside, Witcher. This ain't your affair. We want Bertram, no one else. Give my word. Don't care much what you say. Take your men and get lost, or there'll be blood. Oh, there'll be blood either way. You just ensured there'll be more of it. Wonderful hiding he gave them. You failed to mention she was a werewolf. Well, 
I mean, we wasn't altogether sure ourselves, but that's a good thing. It's what witches are for, isn't it? Killing monsters. Thanks for your help. This here's well earned. Welcome to Honeyfill, Traveller. Holofurnace Meyersdorf at your service. Meet my sons, Bernie, Franklin, and Hugo. Hmm. Any relation to Rico Meyersdorf? Uh, uh, yes. My youngest son. Sadly, he fled the family business. Went to seek fortune in the big city. Why do you ask? Do you know him? <laughs> well, yeah, we've met. But that's not why I'm here. Came about the notice you posted. It's the Apiarian Phantom. It's ravaging my hives. As far as my reward's concerned... Hmm... Honeyfill's not been generating the revenues of old since the Phantom appeared. Would you be willing to reduce your price? Oh, as you wish. Fail to rid us of the Phantom and we'll go belly up anyway. I shall look upon your fee as an investment. So it's a deal? It is. It is. You do realize this Apiarian Phantom? Well, there is no such thing. It's a monster, gotta be, 
a wraith, maybe. Any of your workers see anything? I did. I was cleaning a hive when I heard a farmhand cry out. Screamed as though he'd been stung by a whole swarm all at once. I ran to him, but he was dead. Any stings on him? None. D he looked like he had frostbite. Blue lips, frost in his hair, and dead bees lay all around him. Farmhand who died. What did you do with the body? Wouldn't mind a look. Too late for that. We buried the poor fellow a few days back. Where the phantom appear? Can any of you show me? I'll go. Come with me. This way. Follow me. Where do you get the idea it was an Apiarian phantom? It's a beekeeping superstition. You mismanage the bees' offerings, the phantom appears. He destroys the eyes and kills the bees, so that no one can use these noble creatures for ignoble purpose. Sick to your bees in the competition, eh? No. Father recently signed a contract with the Redanians. So the phantom's from Nilfgaard. There's somebody coming. Here's where the phantom killed the farmhand. Maybe it left some tracks. Covered in frost. Cold must have killed the bees. Full of skinflints. Skinflints riding skinflints to skin other skinflints. Blood. Dried and blackened, so several days old. Must be where the farmhand died. What if a halfling became a witcher, eh? Riding skinflints to skin other skinflints. Hey, look at this one. Tracks disappear in the water. Doubt anything's hiding in this puddle they call a lake. Need to check the other side, see if the trail goes on. Show me a pond, and I'll show you the drowners. But they didn't destroy the hives. Right here. The father began building this house for Bernie, but ran out to coin. It's been standing half finished since. 
Wonderful hiding place for whatever destroyed your hives. I'm going in. You go home and bar your door. Who knows what might come out of there. It's a hound of the wild hunt. How the hell did it end up here? Roach will run you down.
drive off the Phantom. Your Apiarian Phantom was a hound of the Wild Hunt. Eternal fire! Hounds run with the Wild Hunt as well. About two weeks back, I woke suddenly in the night, saw the hunt streaking across the sky. Hound must have gotten separated then. Couldn't go back, so it hid in the empty house. It's hardly compensation for your losses, but at least the Hound won't destroy any more hives. Thank you, Witcher. It's true. Nothing like hiring a specialist. Enough for today, boys. Let's go home. We have a big day tomorrow. Let's rebuild the hives the Hound destroyed. Oh. Work, work, work. Never ends. a sack of mushrooms for you, for helping us. <laughs> <laughs>